Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I discovered something very interesting. Captain Black original, right? But why is the original in this pre-packaged? It looks like there's some loose tobacco flying around in there. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why it's got this extra bagging on it, because when I buy any other tobacco from Captain Black, it's just like this. Same thing, but why the extra whoop you do you know? I don't know. Maybe someone can answer me that question. So, I just decided to make a video on this. Um, obviously, from the beginning, you saw how it was wrapped, which is which is strange to me, because none of the other ones were. But when I opened it, it wasn't sealed, like because it was in that pouch. That's why there was some loose tobacco because it's not sealed. When I opened it, you know how if you get the cherry blend like that cherry blend, I open it like this. This is sealed. And you gotta rip it, you know, rip it open. This was just already open, so it's just like, boom, there. So maybe that's why they do it, but I don't know why they do it just with the original. And I've noticed it, um, well, I haven't noticed it. I mean, it's been years. This is, uh, let me tell you how many years, okay, <laughs> since I've had Captain Black. Now, in my smoking journey, or whatever you want to call it, when I first started smoking pipe, I used to do a lot of uh, aromatic stuff, and a lot of the aromatic stuff that I did was just uh, free to free tobacco, sample tobacco that you get when you're at your local smoke shop, and you say, oh, you get a little pinch of this, you get a little pinch of that, and the guy didn't care, you know, I'd fill my bowl, you know, smoking whatever, you know, because I bought cigars there, so, you know, it was pretty cool, and uh, so I don't know if I ever really did buy over-the-counter, it's been so long that I don't remember. But the last time I bought Captain Black Original that I can remember was in my smoke shop in its final days before it, you know, folded. And uh, now it's like one of those retro uh, pot plate, you know, marijuana places where they sell all, all the, you know, glass pipes and things like that. And, you know, they'll sell, they, I don't even think they even sell pipe tobacco. They sell cigars, uh, but I've never really gone in there looking for pipe stuff. If you look for pipe stuff, you're getting vapes, you know, and marijuana paraphernalia. Not my type of pipe. Anyway, so before my smoke shop closed down, I had this pouch of Captain Black. Now this, let me tell you about the prices, too, back then. All right, like, okay, so it's been like, like maybe five years or so, maybe, you know. Maybe a little bit less than five years, but I paid twelve dollars for Captain Black. Okay, like like it was like this high end <laughs> pipe tobacco, but that's what the prices goes here in South Jersey. Like I don't know buying Captain Black around here if it was ever in one of these you know places, or if I could find another brick and mortar that sells regular pipe stuff and cigars. Um, I'm not sure how much it would go. There, I don't know why it was still marked like the sticker price was twelve dollars. I remember. Now, did I pay that? Did he give me a discount because I bought cigars? I'm not sure. But the sticker price was twelve dollars. And right now, it's only eight something and change on uh, any website that you go to. So, but this thing, as you can see, this is white, right? Well, from the years of this that pouch sitting. In, in the smoke shop was turned like 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 like, like off off white like a bone white from all the nicotine smoke right and permeated the packaging all right that's how and I don't remember if it was dry 
It was aged, let me tell you. It was some aged pipe tobacco. But of course, there was no YouTube back then, or at least I wasn't involved with it. So, it'd be good to do a review on that 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 pouch now, but um, you know, really see what it's about. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it was dry or whatever, but. What I've noticed, this is drier than, you know, the cherry blend or something like that. Um, definitely. And this is the funny thing. Now, I don't know if you guys get this, but I do. When I smell the packaging, to me, I get chocolate-covered, chocolate-covered marshmallow. It's weird. It's weird. It's strange. But that's what I get. You know, like, uh, I don't know, any type of confection... Like those, uh, uh, I don't know what, the, what they're called, those, those, those cakes that when you open up the packaging, it, it's a, a big cir you know, a circle cake, you know, but it's completely what, like a marshmallow or I guess any type of candy that ha ha has chocolate covered marshmallow on it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Now, I don't get that when I smoke it, but I do get it when I smell it like that. But what I do get is a great smoke, and what I smell, you know, taste is that classic spicy, for me, spicy it's hard to describe. It's Captain Black. I'm going to say it's Captain Black original. That's what I get. I'm not good at, you know, really describing it but there's some there's something there they're topping or whatever it is mm. it just gives you that like a warmth feeling it's very good goes very good with coffee but yeah definitely an OTC that stand the test of time I mean, this wasn't my go-to back in the day, obviously, because I was more of an aromatic, and I still am, I believe. I mean, even this is an aromatic. I mean, I really enjoy it, which is, you know, I haven't had a revisit of it. I don't even think I did it. I might have did a review. I don't know. I'll have to check the bowels of my channel, because like I said, I don't ever, I just hit record, post my stuff. I never put it in blocks. I mean, for me to do that now, I, it'd probably take me weeks to, you know, or, or at least several days of, like, you know, consistent work at it to put uh, all my home brewing stuff in a uh, playlist, putting all the pipe stuff in a playlist. You know, I mean, my God, forget it. It's not even worth it. So, uh, if I do find a link to it, I'll put a video link to my uh, review of uh, Peterson's... Uh, what is it, man? I, 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 you know, I don't think I did the reviews on them. I had the, the dark one, the black Cavendish one, Peterson Black, I'm, I'm, I'm Captain Black Black. Uh, I did. I, I had. Uh, what's the one? Royal. I really enjoy Royal. I, I gotta revisit that because that has that. That's vanilla, vanilla based, and I really enjoy that one. But I'm enjoying this regular because I haven't had it in. God knows how long. Mm -hmm. Is there a nuttiness there? Maybe. From the burly. But it has that essence and that taste of whatever that is. And I can't, I'm picking it up and I can't, I can't describe it. You got, I mean, especially you guys who smoked this for years, you know what I'm talking about really good can't go wrong stays lit it's not overly wet and it's not overly dry either oh I wanted to ask you guys is there a way to tell like for instance when I picked up that ancient the Captain Black that was sitting on the shelf for years is there a way to tell when these were packaged I mean 
I know there's all these codes, like I got this, you know, 2DF271, and then an 11, almost like a timestamp, 1108. Now, if that's the time in the morning that they made it, or is that November 8th? You know, and then all this other gibberish. I mean, I have no idea. And the same thing with, uh, see, I have the, it's a big code on this one, but on the cherry, the cherry tobacco, it's a, only a little, you know, it's r real small and on the, on the tape. So I don't think I don't I don't really don't know how to tell when these were packaged. i will be interested to know even how old this one is, you know? I mean out of all the different pipe tobaccos that they have out there nowadays, you know, I don't see this stuff flying off the shelf. So I know this has gotta have some age on it as well, right? I mean even coming from the store. Because nobody I mean when you're going online, you're always either looking for something new, unless you, you know, have your rotations, which we all do, and I do as well. Really loving my lighter. I mean, this thing hasn't done me any wrong in Zippo. Zippo armor plated. I should do something to it. It's my, uh, Necronomicon, you know, the Mythos HP Lovecraft lighter, it's the most expensive, yeah, most expensive lighter I've ever bought, and I'm it's getting, it's, you know, I'm getting my money's worth, because it's all I use, I think, I mean, you can buy a regular zip over like 20 bucks, you know, 25 bucks, this one, because of the theme, it cost me what the hell it cost me over a hundred yeah I think it was like a hundred or five bucks but anyway so that's my story about Captain Black hmm. yeah there's like a I don't know I just got right there Spicy cedar note, almost. Crazy. <laughs> what you can pull out. Yeah, I don't know. Something there. But I'm really enjoying it. So I'm really going <laughs> to sit back and enjoy this stuff. Uh, I finished I finished my tin of uh, Peterson, Sherlock Holmes. So I got this. Cherry. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Oh, I still have some. I still have some uh, English blend from the Amphora, but I don't know what I'm going to smoke next, or what I'm going to order next. Cause I got this for a little bit. But I guess that's it, man. So till we do it again, my friends, remember, let's just sail. <laughs>